Ginger was pregnant at maybe two or three days before she was scheduled to be euthanized. She was just so scared. My name is Susan Hicks and this is Ginger's story for Geodes. I agreed to take her in and she gave birth to nine living puppies here at my house. We found them all homes and by the time it was time to find her a home, I realized that I just couldn't give her up. She was just so sweet and so kind and so gentle. At the time, I also had had other cats, and I realized that the cats gravitated towards her and she loves their company. And I thought that if I wanted to continue fostering and rescuing, that she would really be a great addition to the permanent household. When I have kittens now, she doesn't nurse them, obviously, but she actually will let them nurse on her. There's no milk. knows that they need to be cleaned. She understands when they need to be fed. She watches me when I feed them. Some of the older kittens are a little bit more resistant to the thought of having like a surrogate doggy mommy. But after a while, she always breaks them down. I don't recall any single kitten who came here kind of skeptical and left in that same way. Her simple presence with these kittens is so healing for them when they come and they are sick and they are without their mothers. When they are afraid and they're cold, she is just there for them. It's just her very quiet, calm, maternal energy, which is great for these kittens who get adopted to families where they have other dogs or their other animals. She is our mascot for our animal rescue today, tomorrow for our animal rescue. <laughs> Having her has literally changed the course of my life because I was like, this is just so rewarding. I've made career choices that have allowed me to be here more often so that I can foster more and more kittens. I have a background in science and medicine and I try to focus on those animals that are sick or in need of some medical care that I can provide. There are some kittens that you don't really know what's wrong with them. There's nothing that you can physically see or put your finger on, but when I put them with her, they all turn around. And there's something in that ginger magic that turns them around. Part of what I enjoy doing is showing the world that pit bulls are sweet and they are loving and they are kind and they are not these vicious creatures that the media portrays them to be.